Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So, Maniology has this new monthly challenge where they present a theme and they ask you to like record a 30 second video of said theme, whatever. You have to use at least one Maniology product. So, not necessarily to enter to win. This month's theme is Maniology Your Way, and one of the prompts, so to speak, were um, like maybe your favorite Maniology product or something. I don't know. Um, I don't remember the exact thing, but one of my favorite things is frogs. Anybody that knows me knows I love frogs. Um, it was one of my favorite pastimes as a child to catch frogs, um, and I still love frogs. So you can see me on my Instagram. If I find one in the yard, I pick it up and pretend to kiss it. It's just my thing. I just like them. Anyway, so with that being said, one of my favorite plates from Maniology is Froggy Hop, and this is plate M373. and. It's all cute little frogs and scenes and mushrooms. Okie croaky, hoppy day, hop. Just some really cute images. So it's one of my favorite plates because it has frogs on it. So I thought today I would try to do some stuff with that. I've been practicing and not all of them are great, but here's some of my practice ones on some swatches. I did an ombre, and then I streaked it, and then I was trying some different things with some jellies, but it wasn't working. It came out way too dark down here. This one came out cute, but the water is a little too dark. I would prefer it to be a little bit lighter. And I had some other ones I did a while back, but I don't know what I did with the swatch stick, so... So I'm going to use a sponge, and these are the three colors I'm going to use. Um, watermelon Float B431, Nectar, sorry, B506, and Honeydew B471. So I thought these would be a good combination, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Move the stamping stuff out the way for a second. This is not my specialty. I'm not very good at doing this. So, oh, my light went off. There we go. So this is kind of practice. This watermelon float, one of my favorite colors. I love it so much. Okay. So I'm just gonna press up and down and go all around. I'm going to give those a little bit to dry. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to do another layer. You can see this one's a lot darker. This one's a lot lighter, but we'll fix that. I'm going to use Maniology Straight Up Black B171. That's a better pickup anyway.
So this is what I have so far. So for the frogs, I'm going to do two different color greens so that you can differentiate between his belly and his body. And I'll use the same yellow that I used for the ombre for the center of the flowers. And I think that'll be it. So I'm going to use Spearmint B494. It's just a nice cream green. And I'm also going to use Willow B501. It's a kind of shimmery green. And again, I'm just going to rotate colors between the bodies. You want to be careful when you're reverse stamping that you're floating the polish and not touching the lines with the brush because you will wipe them away. I do it all the time. And then you got to start over. And nobody wants to start over. So because I'm staying in the same shade, I'm just going to wipe my brush off between a paper towel and not worry about and cleaning it. I could try to do his little facial features, but that's getting a little too finicky because it's so small. And you also want to make sure that the paint on your palette isn't starting to get gummy because once that happens and you can't pick it up, that will also lift your design off because the, the paint, when it's gummy, it sticks to each other. I may have just wiped off the features of that on accident. Let's see. Nope, I didn't. Phew. That was close. So there's my cute little froggies. Uh, can you see them? Nope. Just wiping my brush off in between some paper towels for now. I'm going to move the greens to the side. I'm gonna get some yellow. And I'm gonna get a new brush as well. I 
No. Well, I guess the whole thing's going to be yellow now. Oh, that bristle is what's messing me up. You see this? It's um poking out and it's making a mess on my stamper. And I don't want to have to redo the whole thing. I did mess up the flower a little bit. Ugh, messed up again. But I will fix that real quick. This is not always advisable. I don't put acetone on my stamper, but I will use one of these very narrow cotton swabs. And I don't wipe, I'm just kind of gently pushing it up back onto itself a little bit. Because if you wipe, it's going to take the whole image with it. Okay, so I messed up that bottom, that little bit of the flower. But that's, I'm not really concerned about that. Ah, that brush is not making me happy. I'm going to go back to one of these where the bristles aren't sticking out so much. And that's something you want to keep in mind too with your tools. It makes a big difference. I will, um, to try to fix that, those bristles from sticking out like that, kind of crazy, what I'll do is run it through some clear base gel and then wipe off a little bit of the excess and then just leave it sit so it kind of adheres the brushes to each other. I'm going to take off that flower at the top that I messed up, I'm removing it. And I'm gonna remove that heart too. If the image is, if the nail looks sparse, I can just always add a little, but um, it was bothering me. And while I'm not going for perfection if something's bothering me, just change it. I have a piece of glitter on my inside of my stamper. So there's my frogs. I think they're cute. Can you see them in there? That's my little yellow. I'm gonna call them daisies. I'm gonna set this aside to dry.
Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and my phone went dead in the middle of painting the flower scene, but, oops, hold on. Let's see if you can get it to focus. So for some of my other scenes, so now I have this one and then the frog one, which will just go over one of the nails like that. Not sure which one yet. And then I'm trying to see which other one I'm going to do. I really like this mushroom. So I think I want this on something. I'm just going to pick up the mushroom directly by itself. Beautiful. I think I keep getting out of focus. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep doing that now. I think because I moved, getting my phone plugged in, I'm not seated <clears throat> where I normally am. So this might look weird with just plopping down a mushroom down there, but maybe not. Maybe I can put some words or something on top of it when I do it later. Set that aside to dry. And we have to have a frog. Well, I mean, we have like the scenes, but I want another scene. Not just a scene, I mean. So I'm doing this stomp. And I'll just keep using the same brown. And of course, the blue underneath is water. When I did it before, the blue I picked was too dark. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try Alice. This isn't really the blue I picture for water. But I don't have a lot of options. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, it's something, there we go. And then I could paint the rest of the nail blue.
Really? Yeah. Okay. Now to decide what frog. So the the individual frogs are different. This one has like a little mushroom hat on, one in a little float sleeping. I think this one is holding something. And then this one would be holding that leaf up. Kind of like this one. And then you can choose which expression. This is actually the hardest part for me is choosing the expression. I guess I could just put hop and the silhouette of it on there, but no, that's not fun. I think I might do this one and then put the leaf with him holding it. Yeah, because the float would make sense. And that one has the microphone again. That's just a plain one. This one has a cute little butterfly. Uh, I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. So, I think I'm gonna do this, like that. The frog will be on the stump, and then up there I want it to say, oh, I did not just do that. Uh, I'm dead. I touched it. Alright. At least it's just the blue that I touch. And it's the solid part, so I just added some more, so it's just going to take a lot longer to drive. All right, or longer to drive. Dry, why do I keep saying drive? Stupid. All right, so I think I'm just going to do the basic frog. Just the super simple one, because then I'm going to put the hoppy day with the little butterfly above him that didn't that wasn't a good pickup so try again Put way too much paint for those. And paint the rest of them in this shimmery green because it's so pretty.
All right, got out of the lines a little bit. Where is eyes will go? He doesn't have eyes yet because gotta stamp them on afterwards. So. Again, I'm just taking a Q-tip with a little bit of alcohol in it, and I'm just pushing that color back onto itself, making sure not to touch the line. And see, no, I'm not out of the lines. So this little guy needs to dry. He'll be on the stump. And then I think I'll do Hobby Day on top of that. So I wasn't really planning on putting the stump on this now, but since I got the blue on it, I guess that's where it's gonna go. They're all dry. They're not perfect. I think I am going to top coat them though so that if I stamp over them, it won't mess them up. I'm going to use Model 1's gel top coat. Because if I mess them up, then I got to start all over. my my tips I guess I could have just did a base coat and then I wouldn't have needed a sticky polish but now I need a sticky polish sticky base all right I'm gonna make it my stamps ready to see what I'm going to do. The thumb will obviously be the blue stump, but I think that might need more time to dry because I had to put it on so thick. The frog is going to go on the stump. Don't know what I'm doing with the mushroom yet. I'm thinking the flower scene might be good on the middle finger for the most Neil Estate. So my ombres don't look too bad. But you can still see the speckles. I just don't know how to get rid of that. It's gonna have to dry. And then I think I'm gonna do the little froggy and flowers on this one. Yeah. Are they the same size? I think they might have been. Oh no. Okay. I think this one might be done. I don't know. Let's give it a try. trying to be careful with the excess because you can still if you try to rip it it'll rip up into your design so normally what I would do is use a cleanup brush and some acetone and go around the edge 
All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a second because I need to get these done. This one will be the back so you can see it. Oh, almost did that upside down. I like that one. That one's cute. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. And then my pinkies. There we go. And then I'll probably put the little dragonfly guys up top. There's these little dragonflies and hearts that I think would be perfect on top of the mushroom. Like that. So I'm using the Maniology cleanup brush and I'm just dipping it into acetone and Trying to make sure I'm staying under it. Trying to just melt that polish away. All right, so there's those three so far. Flowers, the frogs and flowers with the ribbit and hearts, and then a toadstool with the dragonflies and hearts. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. Let me get some stuff ready. So I picked up this, the lotus flower with the lily pad and the cattails. <laughs> the one speck of glitter keeps throwing me off. Oh, did I really just do that? Did I mess up the image? I set it down flat. That was stupid. Nope, didn't mess it up. All right, move this out the way. I think I'm gonna do my lotus flower in these colors. Oops, I spilled the acetone a little bit. This is going to have to be put on hold because I need to stamp this. Wow, the sticky base coat is ready. Now I gotta get his little face real quick. I should have had that ready. Can you see what I'm doing? Super cute. I may have to recreate this whole set on my nails now because no, that didn't come out good. I love it. It's better, I believe. Oh, 
Happy day. So again, there's the matte top coated one, and then here's the shinies. They do a pretty good shiny, but I think they'll look better top matte top coated, but they have to fully dry before we can do that. And here they are out of the lamp, matte top coated. I really like how these came out. is one of my most favorite plates by Maniology. And I'm really loving this set. I think I'm going to recreate it on my own nails now. Thank you, Maniology. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.